Hello, everybody. This is John Evans for Mid Mod Money, the YouTube channel that shows you how to buy and sell vintage items for a profit. Uh, now, normally I'd be doing a thrift store haul video, and I will be doing some thrift store haul videos, but first I wanted to show off the item that uh, inspired my YouTube channel, and this is that item. This is a Sony portable record player. That's right, portable record player. Uh, model number PSF5. Um, this is a very rare... Uh, very collectible and highly sought after record player. Not to mention incredibly valuable. The most important part, really. It's incredibly valuable. And, um, now before I, I get into the value, I want to talk about the record player a little bit. The reason it's so valuable is because it was made in 1983. Uh, and it came out in almost the exact same year as the Walkman. So when the Walkman came out, people were like, why would I ever need a portable record player? And this thing vanished seemingly off the face of the earth. So, um, however, people who collect, uh, vintage electronics, people who collect record players, uh, really, really like this record player and will pay big, big money for it. Now, uh, I didn't pay big money for it. I uh, bought this at an antique mall. And as you can see, the price of the item is $5. $5 American. And I know some people who buy and sell vintage don't shop at antique malls because they feel like there is no room to mark the item up, but that is clearly not the case. People, uh, sometimes you run into someone that doesn't know what they have, which in this case, this guy really didn't know what he had and did no research or he wouldn't have been selling it for five bucks. So, um, so I was, when I first saw it, I did a double take because at first I thought it was a CD player. It does have the look of a CD player. But when I got closer, I realized linear tracking, this is a record player. And uh, got it home, found out it worked, um, and then I started getting into the research. Now, when I usually when I find an older thing, I will go on eBay, see if they have one. And in this instance, there were two, two of this record player. And it's also, by the way, it is also known as the Flamingo because it it features an upright look. Um, so there were two of these on eBay. One was 900. That was complete with everything. The other was 600. Now, the one that was 600 in the description, it said uh, it had not been tested, and therefore they could not guarantee that it even worked. And that record player had a $600 bid for a assuming non-working Sony record player. So I knew immediately that it was worth at least $600. Now you might have heard at the beginning, there was a little drag in the sound. Um, and that only, it only happens when it's uh, upright like this. When you set it down, um, it sound as it was intended. It sounds fine. Um, so... I think what it needs is a little lubrication on this bar that the needle slides up and down the record, um, or a little bit of a tune-up. Um, but in this condition, I think it is worth about six or seven hundred dollars. Now, this is an extreme example of the kinds of profits you can make buying and selling. Extreme. Most people are happy doubling their money, tripling their money. It's hard to believe that you're going to find something that is six hundred dollars of pure profit, but that is what happened. And people say to me all the time, they go, I'd love to buy and sell. I know you can do it, but I don't know what to look for. 
Listen, I will show you what to look for. If uh, Keep watching my videos. I will show you uh, electronics, glassware, art, um, and I will show you how to make good profits buying and selling vintage. Please like and subscribe my videos. Uh, when I hit 500 subscribers, I will be giving away one vintage item per thrift store haul weekly. And I will mail it to you free of charge for watching Mid Mod Money on YouTube.